looks like they're going to throw the ball to the big man. It's actually uh, RJ Barnard who's taken that. Keenan Mainers with the feed to the line out. Now they're trying to get some momentum going here. Westville have been broken in half, so they now have to retreat behind the hindmost foot before they can rejoin. They've done that pretty well, and eventually Monas do have to use the ball, show the ball in midfield. Lovely step on the inside, and that's an important tackle made by uh, uh, Blake Albion. Still chances here for Monas, but look at that counter shove from Westville, sending Monas back again. Now here's their tight head prop, that is Juandre Murray. And they should be able to work an overlap here that Westville are having to work really hard in defense. But they continue to make those tackles. Now the chip over the top and once again, that's going to be a mark. And Cook Cookman has done the needful. The referee though was playing advantage. He'll bring them back for a penalty to Monas. This is a bit like an appointment with the dentist. You know it's going to hurt, but you can't back away. They've done well. Bringing that one uh, down two meters short. Mona's now having to use that three quarter line and they're caught a little bit flat footed. Might even be turnover ball, it is. How did they do that? Westville behind their own line. Oh, they've got numbers here. And that is a fantastic kick. That Halfway is. Line. Oh. <laughs> you want good um, right shoulder ball here and you've got a real chance. Well, they didn't get the right shoulder, so it's slow ball, but uh, here's Pistur. I'm not sure with the show, popping it into the hands of uh, Ivan Mulman. And a first chance, really, for Westville to attack deep in Mona's territory in this game. And we're in the 18th minute now. Los, los. Slow ball coming out. Pistur finding Mlochua. And uh, that one's gone forward. Referee again, I think, was playing some advantage for a high tackle on this occasion. Penalty to Westville and a chance to knock it down into the corner, perhaps. See Amlochua with the kick, and it is a good one. 3 0. And that is a body blow for Monument, who have dominated possession. They've gone for a bit of air, and I thought they actually had the outside edge there on the Monument, but it's a line out for Monument. It's another win at the tail for Barnard for Monas. Now, this is this is what they know best, this is what they enjoy doing, and Westville have to put their bodies on the line to try and stop the momentum of that driving mall and, uh, scrum half Hanu Dutoy is urging them forward now it comes down the back line and that's another of those 50 50 passes Kutman has made the tackle and that might have been head on head I can see Kutman holding his mouth and I think he might have done himself a mischief there I mean, if look at this, is it head on the head? It looks like he's a bit low. Oh, it is. It is a bit on the side of the head. Then uh, Kupman taking off his scrum cap immediately there. So Kupman and Moulton. So I think that's Nathan Erasmus who's come on at tight head for Monas. Look at that shove from Westville, keeping Monas honest. Now the boys from Kruger's door have thrown it away. Got Oh my God! Africana, look at that. Oh, he ate that up like a mini. Jaden Africana, the crowd on their feet. And um, Lotchwa to turn it into a seven pointer. And this is, this is an enormous turnaround in the game. The conversion is good. Once again, it's that man Barnard who brings it in at the tail of the line. Now Westville have turned it over. Pistor's gone straight through the gap. Is anybody going to stop him? Yes, he's got the pass away. Inside the 22. What a finish to this half from Westville. Pistor feeding the back line. Mlochua sends it. Oh, Kortman breaks the tackle. Kortman scores. What a finish to the first half. Well, just listening to the crowd, looking at everyone here, it's a bit of a shock here in terms of what is happening. Westville score once again, turnover ball at more time. It all came from turnover ball here. I mean, I don't know how they got that, uh, that, that, that ball through, or that ball through, that ball, pistol sniping through. You'll see in the picture now, his captain, Chris Clutie, fends off a couple of defenders. 
He plays well. He makes sure he goes down. They secure the rat there. Set Gwyn with the clean. Now the ball has to go wide. Albon, it goes to Unai look at that. Look at that line. Ah, Kupman straight through like a knife through butter. And what a dive to finish it off. Raced all the way back, won the ball, and then took it back the other way. Now Mon is trying to build from deep. Westville continuing to make those ferocious tackles, knocking Moners back. But here's an opportunity for them. And an outside break from Jason Hubert. This is trouble. There's nobody at home. Here's Urson cutting on the inside, gets it back to Hubert. He's lost it forward. It's turnover ball for Westville. And that is in touch. And there'll be a lot of forwards saying thank you very much. Well, that play's gone about 200 meters there, forwards and backwards. Now it's uh, Barnard winning the line out. They've gone nowhere. And uh, the referee says there's been a knock on. It's turnover ball. Here's Pasteur sending it out. And a chance on the left wing. A chip and chase. And it is in touch. Oh dear. J Jadrian Africana. Nice play there from Blake Alban. Now Pasteur taking them on. He's not scared. show of the ball and then uh, the straightening of the line this is good stuff from Westville Cookman up from fullback goes backwards to go forwards here's Alban again that's a great offload from him oh we've got numbers here can he go all the way great step oh try number three Michael, 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 Sittari. Sittari. Michael Sittari. oh man look at that play there they're taking it through the tackle and offloading whereas Monas tend to be going laterally. The conversion is good, and there are some stunned looks in the crowd as they take in the scoreboard that says Monument nil, Westville 22. I mean, you look at like, look at that offload from Blake Alborn to his number 13 pardon. I thought it was gonna go straight through there, but he steps back inside. Look at that, he straightens. Oh, Mustafa running that block line. If Monas are to get back, they've got to score better than a point a minute. Can they start here? It's taken in by that man Barnard, who has been everywhere for them. They're trying to maul it over the line here. Mainers in control at the base. And the ball is available. There's a super tackle. Suspect he might have been in front of the try line there and therefore offside, but referee says play on. There's another tackle out wide. And. Uh, Monas have run out of room on the left. They've got to come right back five meters from the line. And eventually they've got to take it down the back line. There's a chance to jackal the ball. Referee's right on the spot. Monas, I think, have still got control. There's scrum half is Hanu Dutoy. He has a go himself. Now there's a chance for Urson. He's gone for the outside break, gets the pass away. This should be a try for Milton. And it is in the corner. Hanu Dutoy trying to turn it into a seven pointer. And when you're 22-5 down, every kick is important. But this is a tough one. The wind is helping him. He's got it on the way, but it's uh, faded to the right of the upright. So 22-5 and we've got 17 minutes remaining. Yeah, there's still a lot of rugby to be played here. Yeah, it's a 17 point game. I mean, look there. Sitade trying to make sure that he gets the ball and man at the same time, but Wilson making sure that he frees his hands. And yeah. Westville quite happy to wind the clock down, I fancy. Yeah, so Goodman there, he just played that pass there to Umloja. So it looks like he, he's going to double up there. And Umloja, does he find touch? Oh, yes, he does, but it's a quick line out. Milton. Keating look at Milton, the, look at the space. He's got wheels, has he? this man. That's a good tackle, though. And uh, it results in a knock-on by Westville. So, actually, advantage being played to Moniz, and here's a chance for them. Flashing through there was Taslim Gayan. And the referee says that's not enough advantage, and he will bring them back. Here's Moniz trying to score their second try. Well won. Now, can they get the grind on? This is where Westville have been very good. But eventually you do run out of an elasticity in the legs, but they're, they're continuing to repel Moners. They're very close. Referee says yes, and I'm going to give that to Mainers, the hooker. 
It's very difficult for us to tell from here, but I would imagine that's who's going to get up last with the ball. Yeah, Keenan Maynard's there. He's been behind the ball the entire afternoon and finally getting some reward there. Players not rolling away. Calvert takes it. Got himself just a little bit ahead of the last man who could have helped him, but it's still available for, for Westville, and as long as they've got possession, the clock continues to be against Monas. Oh, the arm is out. The arm is out. Andy, we know where they're going to go. They're going to take their time because they're still down to 14 men. Got one playing nine. Here's Mlochwa looking for Africana on the wing. And the referee says, I think that the, the runner was in front. Unati Mlochwa. This is for a 15-point lead with less than seven minutes remaining. Oh, it's a good strike. He's got it. Oh dear, we've got, uh, hopefully that's just a turned ankle. Uh, it could even be cramp, the way that he's uh, he's hobbling off there. Monas, can they turn this into points? That's a good piece of straight running from depth. They haven't done enough of that today, Monas. And you see the way that Westville forced them across the field. They don't let them come through the middle. That's a good tackle on Taslim Gayan. And Westville, well, they really do deserve the Purple Heart, the amount of tackles they've got through today against a significantly bigger opponent. Now this is uh, Ben Hart. He has taken up the scrum half position now, and the referee gives the penalty to Monas. Yeah, it's an interesting one there, because he said first man over the ball, so the man's got the ball, but they're not releasing surely a penalty to Westville but now they've got the extra man on the wide outside and Westville have got there again next year of your high school career and you've beaten you've beaten Monas but hopefully it's not a commentator's curse here comes the the, the original Vitbilla <laughs> good low tackle coming in on Jacques Boiter now Milton out on the outside. In fact, this is the fullback, Hanu Fari, who's moved forward. Are they in at the corner? They are claiming it. Yep, the referee's given it. And I think it is the fullback, Fari, who's scored. Out it comes. Show of the ball, and it's uh, driven on by the big uh, Jacques Boita. Boita is stretching his legs out. Can he go all the way? He's tackled from behind he's got the pass away West Villa harrying back desperately trying to get between Monas and the line here goes that man Boiter again he's on the five quickly available for Evan Bernhardt he sends it the other way they're opening up this is what Monas are capable of they came back in their uh, other game against uh, against Framesby and that has gone to ground but the ball is still available that's gone to ground and the referee i think is going to blow the final whistle here yeah he's called a penalty advantage there not sure for what i think it's for offside wasteful they just has to restart with the penalty i've seen that happen by the way oh yes, yes i've yes. seen that happen monas looking to have the final say looking for a consolation here very close to getting across the line they are over the line now there's the try conversion to come but it's not going to be enough what do the touch judges say the flags have gone up but so have the arms of the westville players because that is a rare rare victory against uh, the boys from krugersdorp uh, year in and year out the best of the Hauteng schools they've come down here and played two games whereas Westville have played three games in five days Westville have done it